This is meteorologist Mark Molnar. Let's take a look at Hurricane Northeastern here. We're getting right into the tropics, and guess what? For the first time in a long time, we don't have much to talk about here across the Atlantic Basin, as you can see on the satellite photos. Heading right into the surface maps here, the enlarged surface map of the Gulf of Mexico just have some stalled out frontal boundaries here to speak of along the east coast as well. None of these pose any interest in the short to medium term here. We will have to watch on the bigger map here. If we look out here towards the Lesser Antilles, we have a few tropical waves heading into the Caribbean, but nothing to really speak of here. No invest systems, no tropical disturbances, just some open tropical waves here across the open Atlantic. So there you have it. There's the tropics in a nutshell. And we're gonna get right into viewer set in photos and videos here. We're looking at Derek Rensselaer from Coleman Park, where it's the Lebanon County, Pennsylvania area. Take a look at these nice, beautiful October 18th fall foliage photos to be had here across the Northeast. Very nice captures here, Derek, from the Coleman Park area. You can see the brilliant colors of the yellows, the oranges, and the reds. And many areas are approaching peak in Pennsylvania, parts of New York, Southern New England, and a lot of areas are past peak already in places like the part northern Catskills, Adirondacks, and White Mountains. So get out there and enjoy the fall foliage. John from Islip, New York, October 16th, that big nor'easter, dealing with some coastal flooding and freshwater flooding as well. Thanks for your capture there as well, John. Let's get right into the forecast. We're starting off with the precipitation totals across North America. Starting to build a ridge out west here, drawing it out. But look at this back east here, central portion of the United States. We're going to be dealing with a cutoff low here in portions of western Texas, western Oklahoma, portions of northeastern New Mexico. Here across the east, much of this will be associated with your frontal boundary heading across the area Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning as this system pushes out of the picture for late in the week. Let's get right into the forecast pattern. There is that the ridge really pushing out west here, pushing the subtropical and polar jets well to the north here. There is that cutoff low across the central portion of the United States. And what does that do for the east here? Heads those jet streams, a very zonal pattern here across the upper Midwest, portions of the northeast mid-Atlantic and into New England. So fast moving systems not enough to get any major nor'easters going, at least in the short to near term here. We'll have to watch as we get towards the end of the month here. Let's get right into the forecast. We're starting off with severe weather outlook. Well, nothing severe to talk about, so I'll show you my fall foliage map here. Here's the fall foliage across the northeast. There it is. Most areas in southern Canada, northern New York, northern New England are getting well past peak here. Portions of the northern Catskills as well. If you really want to get out there and enjoy it, the valleys of Binghamton, Elmira, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Harrisburg area, get out there and enjoy the leaf color, at least for the next one and a half to two weeks before they all fall to the ground. Let's get right into the forecast for your Wednesday, midpoint of the week. Look at this, not too bad across the Northeast. We're managing to push a nice day once we get rid of some of those residual AM showers here across New Jersey, portions of New England. And temperatures, we rebound nicely into the upper 50s, near 60 in many areas across the Northeast as we try to break out some sun. Thursday will probably be your best day here across the Northeast. We're dealing with really nice sunny skies, temperatures well up into the 60s, even Binghamton, Syracuse, Albany, down to New York City, Harrisburg, into New England as well, and into your Friday, here you go. We start to get that next frontal boundary pushing in increasing clouds, chance of showers, especially western New York, western Pennsylvania, parts of the St. Lawrence, up towards southern Ontario. We warm temperatures into the upper 50s and lower 60s in many areas. And for your Saturday, once we get that system pushed through, temperatures really cool down into the upper 40s and lower 50s across much of upstate New York into northern Pennsylvania, portions of central and northern New England. We managed to hold on to 60s and even a few 70s here in the southeastern corner of our forecast area. So there you have it. Extended outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Binghamton to Scranton and all points in between. Look at this for your Wednesday, Thursday, really sunny. Temperatures heading up towards 
the lower to mid 60s into your Friday. Look at that, not too bad across the northeast portion of, and central portion of our forecast area. Temperatures heading up towards the 50s into your overnight lows, upper 30s to lower 40s. And for your Saturday and Sunday, much cooler for Saturday, only the lower 50s, but we will break out the sun into your Sunday as well. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, and Google Plus.